This is for the movie Fall Guy, directed by David Leach. The music composer was Dominic Lewis. The costume designer was Sarah Evelyn. And since this is a movie about stunts, the, I will, the cast category will be of stunt doubles, not the stars of the film. The cast included Yas Yasushi Asaya, Zuzi Fort, and Jake Bennett. The film is about, after leaving the business one year earlier, battle-scarred stuntman Colt Seavers springs back into action when the star of a big studio of movie suddenly disappears. As the mystery surrounding the missing actor deepens, Colt soon finds himself ensnared in a sinister plot that pushes him to the edge of a fall more dangerous than any stunt. So this was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. It was based on a show and it's been in development since 2010. I wasn't really expecting to like it because I'm not really a big fan of movie with any movie films. But this was pretty good. And also I wasn't really expecting to like it because I've never seen the show. But this was a little better than expecting. I really enjoyed it. I love behind the scenes anyway. So I, I love that this was about stunts and behind the scenes of that, of how everything works. This film broke the Guinness World Records for car rolls in a movie, which I believe were eight and a half rolls. So from here are some spoilers. I want to see more of Gail, John claude Alma, Dan, the rivalry between Tom and Colt and the Unicorn. I also wanted to see uh, more of the relationship between Jody and Colt. I love the intro of all the stunts from different movies like the Bourne franchise, Fast and Furious, and uh, Atomic Blonde, and several others. It would have been interesting to see Colt have back problems after the accident because once he comes back, everything seems to be fine and he's just, is just rolling around and fighting. It's like, did he ever have back problems? What is this guy's problem? I kind of want to pause the movie to see all the post-it notes everywhere. The ones that are visible have buy unicorn food, dinner with Trump, sell cockatoo, buy koala, is a Momoa or Mamoa. Also, what happened to the cockatoo, by the way? <laughs> John Claude was supposed to be guarding it, but after the whole gunfight in the apartment, I don't think we see, ever see him again. I was also so afraid John Claw was going to die. I'm so glad he didn't. The film within the film Metal Storm was actually a real movie from the 80s called Metal Storm The Destruction of Jaden Sid, I believe. Which kind of sounds like a sequel. But, and, but it would be interesting after this film if they actually did remake Metal Storm with Jason Momoa. I love the split screen conversation between Jody and Cole on the well during their phone conversation. It was unique and different. People were moving around. It wasn't a normal split screen conversation where people are just standing or sitting and talking on the phone. Also, how did everyone at Tom's party keep Henry's death a secret? I get it if only a couple people were there, but this was a sizable party. How did they all wake up and think they were drunk and dreamed it or drugged out and hallucinated like a unicorn? I don't, they don't understand. I love Gosling's shaking when he's tied at the pier. Just He just looks really scared about what's about to happen to him. Again, how did nobody see or hear the pier torture? <laughs> Especially when he yells for help. They're outside on the dock. <laughs> For me, the whole Sting confession thing could have been done a little bit differently and worded a little bit differently. I definitely think Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt should do another movie together. And I think Ryan Gosling and Tom Cruise should do a movie about all these crazy stunts. This was a really fun movie. I really enjoyed it. I really don't understand why it didn't do great at the box office. I would say it should have made, could have been made, it could have made more money at the summer box office. 
But Deadpool and Wolverine is coming out, and I think that would take a big chunk out of this movie financially. And it should have a sequel. I mean, I would love a sequel. And so what did you think of this film? Have you seen the show? Who is your favorite stunt person? And your or your documentary or favorite stunt film? Comment you know where. Leave a comment and give me a thumb stuntman's thumbs up if you think that without question stuntmen should get Oscars.